Welcome everyone to tableauinfo.com and uh, today we are going to talk about performance recording in Tableau. So basically Tableau records performance information about key events as you interact with the workbook. So as we interact with the workbook it has to pass through different events like query execution, geocoding, connection to data sources of course layout computations, abstract generation, blending data, and server blending. So, understand this. Yeah. When you are working or when you are interacting with a workbook, it has to pass through different phases before it eventually comes to the client or say to the end users. So if you are not able to visualize or if you are not able to see the dashboard on time, you know, on time means from the time when you have clicked on the dashboard to the time when you finally see the dashboard and if it is taking a lot more time then there is a problem but where is the problem so performance recording will help you to directly sort your issues at that very particular event so it will tell you that which event is taking how much of time so that becomes very very useful for you because you know for example, if query execution is taking most of the time or of the total time, then you'll have to tune your query, say SQL query. Uh, so if I talk about Oracle databases, there are different ways to tune your SQL queries, like inserting indexes, adding indexes, or partition of tables, etc. Geocoding, uh, that means the dashboard related uh, to maps, there you can limit your data or do something which could condense your data. Uh, you can add few more filters so that you can control that part. Connection to data sources or extract generation, you can always uh, insert extract level filters that would again limit the number of rows or the number of columns that you have. So that is the later part, but initially you should know which part is having problem, which event is having more problem than, than the rest of the ones. Before that, we should know that how we can record the performance or what, or what are the prerequisites. So, a, ser a server administrator should add performance recording at your site. So if you are not a server administrator, then you will have to request a server administrator that he sh or she should add your site or she, he or she should add recording uh, to your site. Once that is over, you will have to perform only a few steps. Uh, you will have to type colon record underscore performance is equal to yes and at the end of the view URL and immediate, which is immediately before the session. So that I will, I'm going to show you. Uh, don't worry about that part. So the image uh, is showing the same. So if I just talk about one of my dashboard, uh, so this is one of my Salesforce dashboard, and uh, um, okay. So here I'll just copy my dashboard text edit so that I can show you what I have to do. So this is my site. I'll just remove this and I'll say record underscore performance is equal to yes. I'll just copy it. I'll go back to my browser and I'll open a new page. Now notice one difference, one key difference. So this is this was the original one now the new one is coming up and you can see this clock which you will not be able to see there that means that you are in a position to record the performance now just click on this clock button and it will record the performance it will take some time but eventually you can just go to download I mean, means it, it will give you an option to download as you can see over there. 
I mean, once it will come up after that. And in order to come out of this recording, you will have to just click on the, you will have to just come out of that. You can just, you know, go back and click on the dashboard. So that would be the end of your recording. That is the way you end your recording. And after that only you will see your statistics over there. And those statistics uh, will look like this here you go now you can see now the best part is that while executing query it will also show the backend query so as I was talking about the SQL query so if it is related to the SQL query then you can always go back to your server administrator database administrator and you can work with your DBA so that you can improve the performance by adding indexes or doing partitions etc you can see all the different events now yeah i was searching for geocoding because uh, maps are there in my dashboard as you can see but it's not taking that much of time so that is not a point of worry for me I don't see expect there, so maybe my dashboard is, is having a light connection type. But if you have something, if your extract is taking more time, then you can always insert extract filters or you can remove the unwanted columns. So this is the way you do performance recording, and I really feel that it is very useful. Uh, to get to the root cause of the delay, unwanted delay that you are having in your dashboard performance. So thanks for watching my video. You can always come to my homepage and it can take you to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. So if you want to get uh, the regular updates, since I work both on Tableau Server and Tableau Desktop, you are most welcome to subscribe and like my Facebook page. Thank you all.